Hello, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. Something I get asked often about Adobe Audition. When working in the multi-track, why does it reduce my audio end volume after I do a mix down? Let me show you why that happens right now in Adobe Audition. So we'll start a brand new file and we'll have it at a bit depth of 32-bit floating point. In fact, I'll show you on Mike Russell VIP, my other channel, why 32-bit is better than 16-bit. I always now work in 32-bit. Uh, let's generate a tone so you can see easily what the amplitude of that tone is. So a 440 hertz test tone at minus 3 dB should be enough. There we go. You see it on the scale, minus 3 dB. Play it back. There we go, minus 3 dB. Uh, so a little bit of headroom there. Now we'll start a new multi-track session. Okay, that's all fine. Drag that untitled file in and then go ahead and go to the multi-track menu and mix it down. And suddenly, whoa, that's a minus 3 dB reduction. It's now at minus 6 dB. You hear that? That is definitely a reduction in audio. Okay, no problem. I'll show you why. Go into Adobe Audition Preferences and head for Multitrack and take a look at the first option, Default Panning Mode. It's at minus 3 dB center, which will actually reduce your audio by minus 3 dB when you mix down from the Multitrack. So to remedy this, go to Left Right Cut and then it doesn't do anything to your audio. But what you will need to do after selecting this option is restart Adobe Audition. So let me do that right now. Cross out of Adobe Audition and reload it. Here we go. Just a few seconds to boot back up and get everything all initialized and loaded. And then I'll generate another tone to show you. No funny business here. Generate tones. Again, the minus 3 dB test tone at 440 hertz. There it is, minus 3. Head into multi-track and drag that over. Oh, already exists. Yep, overwrite. And now when we mix down after making that small change, multi-track mix down entire session, it preserves the tone at minus 3 dB. So there you go, a simple way to stop your multi-track from reducing your audio in volume when you mix down. But I always advise working in 32-bit rather than 16-bit, which used to be the kind of standard. I'll explain why over on Mike Russell VIP. You can join me right now by clicking the link in the description to this video or the options on your screen right now.